So we are group three on this case study for innovation management, and we're going to talk specifically about IP design. So our core task was to define the IP design uh, towards this case and to see what were the design thinking methods that could be used when we have a combination of different methods. In this particular case, so we're going to use a cognitive walkthrough detailing the different process steps with the swim lane and illustration, and then using the activities, environments, interactions, objects, and user classification, so the AEIOU method. Yeah, what, what we here say see is the um, cognitive walkthrough through this uh, process we um, learned about in, 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 in this case study. So it's in the end, the 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 different process steps, the um, user, this means the um, um, person in a car experiences if he or she is um, entering a parking garage, um, finding a parking place, um, position the, the, the car in the right uh, order in the, in the parking lot that one car is not blocking two parking um, lots and in the end, uh, paying and leaving the garage. So this is the, let's say, these are the, this um, between these point, two points and um, wa wanting, to, wanting to park uh, till leaving the garage, these are the, the, the different process steps um, represented uh, in this so-called cognitive walkthrough. And if we go on the next slide, we see this different, in this case, for three of these process steps, which are the three uh, green columns or columns with the green headline. In this case, look for assigned parking bay. The first step, park the vehicle, the, ne the, the next step, and then feedback for cor correct parking, parking position. This is then after parking the vehicle, the next step. So these, these three steps are a part of this chain I showed you on the, on the last slide. If in, in this case now the AAEOU method, um, Sophia already explained, gets um, adapted. And this works um, in a way that for each process, this, uh, let's say, for, um, um, yeah, let's say, I um, um, perspective. Get perspectives get get applied. For example, let's take that the last the last process on the right in the right column feedback for correct parking position. This is an activity. So this is for the for the A. Yeah. Then the E uh, for for the environment. The environment uh, in this case means let's say the uh, the environment of the activity. So what's what what is in which context this activity is uh, taking place. So if we are speaking about the feedback for, for a correct parking position, so this means the, 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 the check whether the car is uh, placed in the right order in the parking lot and not blocking two, two, two lots, but just one, um, the environment is the acceptable, acceptable vehicle um, positioning, which, which uh, is required. Um, in the next line where it's about the objects, no, no please go back. Please go back in the last, um, in the previous slide. No slide three, exactly. In the um, in the third line, which is about the objects um, or, or system components, the different objects with which the um, which with, with which the user is, let's say interacting are um, mentioned. So here in this case, in the, in, the, in the right process, it's the modular cell, so the parking bay, and it's the sensors um, with, with which the user is interacting. And uh, if uh, now if we speak about the user, this we see in the fourth line user groups, it's all kind of user. So it's not, doesn't matter whether it's about an average parker or a parker of a small car or of a SUV. So this process is applying for every um, of these user groups. And um, what regards the interaction in the fourth line, 
um, on, on the bottom of the slide in the, in the right, right column we see for this right pro feedback process, it's about um, the sensor check about the correct positioning, which is, uh, let's say, relevant for this process uh, step and the um, transmission of the, of the occupancy status um, to, to check whether the, the car is in the right position. And this AAEOU method can, in the end, be applied for every process step um, in order to get a basis for uh, later on um, developing IP, which uh, um, protects the, the customer benefit generated here. So um, very central part of the, uh, the IP um, design uh, is uh, when you are identifying the inventions um, in a complex situation like uh, uh, all the, the circumstances around parking a car. Uh, it's very important to find the different uh, customer benefits and to, to find the benefit, benefits for all these activity steps uh, in this um, uh, in this plan. Um, and uh, here you have a, a list of, uh, of tasks that can be considered non-trivial. You have to have a use creative uh, uh, creativity to, to, to define and to the becoming a central part of the, the, the inventions. Um, and you, for example, you have the uh, to record a user's parking preferences uh, to to evaluate uh, the situation for the occupancy uh, for the, the direction of the uh, the users into the, the different uh, parking base availability and also uh, automatic uh, computing of the parking fees. Um, and there's then a need to further evaluate and specify uh, the identified uniqueness environments, as was mentioned. Next slide. So then we go to isolating invention cores. So what are invention cores? These are basically the fundamental principles behind the approaches and this, uh, to, to achieve or um, obtain the desired goal, these are to be implemented and identified. How can this be achieved? By parameterization of the task, by transforming real life task into a generic technological task, and then identifying the next steps in order to deliver the task from technical perspective. So, what example we have taken here is to direct users into the parking bay. Real life task is parking a car in a parking bay. And this can be achieved by identifying the technological tasks, which could be patented. Like there are patents on LIDAR recognition, on image identification, on um, connecting the radio frequency identification of a car to the infrastructure, RFID sensors, or this could also be vehicle to infrastructure communication. So these are the patents which are possibly going to cover these technological aspects. So identifying a free parking space or comparing the parking space with vehicle dimensions for example, an SUV may not fit into an available parking space on a level. So maybe a comparison is made that, you know, that, that sees there's a possibility of parking on another car level, parking level, which would enhance the qualitative experience, which would make uh, the process of parking easier. There are other technological tasks like determining the ideal position, the orientation, whether reverse parking is possible or, or what orientation the car should be parked in. Then making out the customized, marking the customized um, parking space and then provide assistance with the parking process. Again, this could be achieved by vehicle to infrastructure, technological patents. So the key point to consider here is that the invention course must not 
um, I mean, FTO is also a, a point to consider, but um, before applying, of course, one has to check if the, there's a prior art or not. So invention cores must be checked against prior art. So that is basically the process of isolating invention cores. Thank you. And we close this wonderful presentation on a beautiful Friday evening with a simple example, basically, to show how we can further identify alternative technical solutions um, by effectively breaking down certain uh, technical elements uh, into further attributes. Uh, I mean, for, for me, I'm not an engineer, but I, I, I like to think around it as you know, basically thinking about the language model or the programming model that you would teach a machine uh, and how you would dissect it from a logical level or from a, from a decision tree into the different technical elements. Actually, um, yeah, get a logical baseline for you to think around what could be technical alternatives to be driving for, uh, what could be technical elements to eventually develop and to protect and to use. Thank you very much for listening. And uh, back to Tobias, I guess.